Hello YouTube. Um do another video for you guys. This one is of a um uh 19th century Abraham Lincoln uh portrait on canvas. I should say possible Abraham Lincoln because I haven't had it authenticated. But I'm gonna do this video so that everyone can see it and give me some feedback on it. It needs restoration. I want to show you the facial features here. You when you look at the eyes, he has the bags under the eyes. The eyes are like a greenish, grayish looking color. You actually see how the cheekbones are actually coming in here on, on either side. Now this one, he's, his sideburns are all the way down to here. And you can see he doesn't have a beard in this one. I've never seen it. Normally the, 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 the sideburns stop up in here or they're totally off. But this one is almost like three quarter length. Now, you can see he never had hair in this area. That's why the artist shaded this part in around it. Showing that this is lighter here, that he never had hair here. And he never had hair like a mustache. Look at how he highlighted it. And here he shaded it in where the beard would be. And then you see here these lines around the, uh, the nose and the mouth. Then you look at the ear large ear and look at how the hair is scattered over the ear just like in the, the photographs you see of them. Now this painting had a lot of writing on the bottom that is worn off that I can't make out what it is. Let me see if I can show you the areas. Even over here you can you can see some letters and stuff going over here. But they're you know they're long gone now. So this was signed and probably attributed and everything else because a lot of inscription that was that was going across the, the entire bottom of this, even in this area here, there was something here that's gone. And someone put a big triangular patch that you can kind of see in the front of this thing going up like this. You can see the highlight of it. I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna turn the painting backwards so you can see it. But I truly believe that this is Abe Lincoln. Now this is the back frame. You can see it's a uh, 19th century framing. You see that large triangular patch that someone put in the back. Here's you got a patch off to the side. Look at the keys they put in there. Some large rulers were used to um to key this thing together. You see how dark the canvas is. Then you see this X up here on the frame, right up here on the stretchers going right here. So I guess this is showing the top of the stretcher. So when you put it into the frame that I'm going to show you guys next, it lines up. So this is the frame over here that it was in. You can see it needs a lot of work done to it. It needs to be restored. But look at how fancy it is. You can tell this was in, uh, something important, you know what I'm saying? It was a very expensive frame that it was put in that needs to be restored also. The painting fits perfectly in the, in the frame. Now I'm going to show you the back of it. This is the back of the frame. And it has that X, the same X up here. If I can picture that, yeah, here it is. The X is here. The same as it is here. So that it can line up when it goes into the frame. 
Now also see the signature here. Let me see where it is. There's something over here. I can't read it though, but I guess whoever made the frame looks as if they signed it going this way. So whoever made it signed it. Whatever, something else that's interesting is it has a paper label here. Get down on the floor for this one. Right here. But it says Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky right here. That's where it was framed at. And everyone knows that uh, Abraham Lincoln's from uh, Kentucky, and I think he had his best friend is in Louisville, Kentucky. I think supposedly he visited his best friend in the 1940s. So once again, it's the front. So like I said, I need some help on this one, guys. If anyone knows something about this, or wants to make a comment about it, then feel free. Like I said, it does need a lot of restoration. Well, basically, that's what you want to see. Well, that's what I would want to see because if something's 100, you know, 150, 160 years old, it should show some signs of wear. Okay, let me know your thoughts. Thanks a lot.